Well, Nigel's not happy and I don't blame him. Let's begin. Yeah, of course, I didn't know if it's just me, but quite often it seems that nowadays a lot of those loony left people out there seem to think that there's one rule for one politician and a completely separate one for Nigel Farage. For instance, recently, you know, someone chucked a milkshake in Nigel Farage's face when he was out campaigning or whatever he's doing, but no doubt, of course, if it happened to one of the Labour parties, MPs, or in fact any other MP, that would be totally unacceptable, which, don't get me wrong, it is totally unacceptable, but they just seem to think there is some unwritten rule that they can do these things and just, I know, get away with it quite often and now unfortunately for Nigel he has fallen into a bit of a trap and I'm not talking about the Channel 4's undercover film and all any crap like that because from what I've heard that guy was actually found out to be an actor he wasn't apparently campaigning for reform at all but this time this one I think is much worse and has given him a bit of a virtual kick in the balls which let's face it he doesn't really need at the moment we we'll just take a look at this the poison that is being taught to our children they are being told that the stories of Columbine don't matter. All they're being told are the bad things that we did in our history. And I'm standing up and saying, enough. We should be proud of who we are, where we come from. <laughs> Someone at the Columbine Centre needs to get the sack. Are we agreeing? Yeah. Unlucky for the campaign group led by donkeys who apparently decided to arrange this or are claiming responsibility for this, should I say. The rest of us don't actually have brains of donkeys and therefore are not going to fall for this stupid political stunt. I mean, yes, no doubt, of course, a load of Labour lefties out there would have taken pictures of this when he was on stage and more than likely splash it across the papers tomorrow with Nigel standing in front of that picture. However, Nigel has explained that, hasn't he? What these people don't seem to understand is that was a comment made, as far as I'm aware, 10 years ago. And it was a warning that the EU should not expand. But they didn't listen, did they? They did expand, as far as I'm aware, and so did NATO. And that gave Putin the excuse that he thought he needed. And, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say his actions are justified, and neither was Nigel, because they're not. There's no excuse for what Putin done, in my opinion. However, these idiots just won't let it go, will they? And no doubt, of course, are bound to try all other sorts of things before Thursday's general election. Probably because they're a little bit worried of reform, because let's face it, if Nigel does get quite a few MPs in the House of Commons, then that surely will be something that the Conservatives and the Labour Party are going to worry about, because there's going to be people in there actually talking common sense for a change, eh? Well, hopefully anyway. But who was behind it? I mean, yes, I know it says led by donkeys was behind it, but remember, Nigel or reform, whoever organised the venue, would have had to book it, and therefore, the person who pushed the button to lower the banner would have more than likely been backstage, wouldn't they? And remember, it was an electric, or seemed to be an electric, roll-down banner. So therefore, that would have taken a little while to set up, wouldn't it? So hopefully, the culprits wouldn't, let's face it, be too hard to track down, eh? And I personally think Nigel will get a little bit of revenge on this, because, let's face it, it hasn't exactly done him much favours, has it? And the good news is that Nigel Farage, according to this article, has ruled out joining the Conservatives and says he wants nothing to do with them. And I personally agree with him. The Conservative days are done. Nigel Farage shouldn't let this incident get him down. And not that I'm saying he would do, because with all the stuff that Nigel has to put up with, no doubt this is like water off a duck's back to it. But either way, it does make me wonder what is still to come until Thursday. But if everyone just remembers what Nigel stands for and to perform in general stand for, then I'm pretty sure we'll be all OK. And all these stupid stunts... That no doubt have caused the lefties, and maybe some conservatives, will want to paint Nigel as. We all know that whatever these idiots come out with, we know that is bound to be a load of crap. So remember, vote reform on Thursday. Well, I am anyway. It's up to you who you vote for. But I think the conservatives are done. Labour are just going to be awful in my opinion. So the only choice is for me is reform. <laughs>